Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and I'm here for an album review. Now for this review, this will be a throwback review, and I'm going to be reviewing an album by the band Fate's Warning, who is one of my favorite progressive metal bands. So the album I thought I would talk about in this review is A Pleasant Shade of Grey by Fate's Warning. This is the album. So this is Fate's Warning's concept album, and it is one of my personal favorite Fate's Warning albums. I know there's some other people that say that this is one of their best, and for good reason. This is a very, very uh, good concept album, and it is one of Fate's Warning's more darker-sounding albums, which a lot of metal bands in the 90s have kind of gone in a more darker route, I guess. I know Iron Maiden uh, did that as well whenever um, they put out albums in the 90s. Same with Queensryche, another one of my favorite progressive metal bands, and... Obviously, the same applies to uh, Fate's Warning. Uh, a lot of their 90s work is uh, very dark sounding. Now, when it comes to this album, A Pleasant Shade of Grey, this is basically one long epic song, basically. But this is split up into parts. And I know that there are other bands that have done this, that have um, done this idea where, you know, they uh, create an entire album with basically just one long epic song and... You know, I like the way that Fate's Warning did it, at least the way they did it on CD. I'm actually not sure how this album is, like, on uh, streaming services or digital uh, services, but on CD, uh, you actually get all the parts separately uh, on this. And I actually prefer it that way than, you know, just getting one long track, basically, which is, I know how some bands do it, but I prefer it this way, because then you won't have to, like, scroll... Um, scroll through the song to, you know, find the specific part of the song that you want to listen to or whatever. So I do like that uh, this album is split up into parts like that. And yeah, it's just a very uh, enjoyable listen, and this is one of their best. Now, some highlights from this would be part two. I really like A Pleasant Shade of Grey part two, which is, I mean, it's it's a very energetic song, definitely one of the more fun sounding songs off this album. Um, uh, this is just a really brilliant song. Ray really giving it his all in the chorus. And it's pretty catchy. I mean, I really like the, you know, the start of the song where it's, you know, it has this um, build up. I mean, that that's one thing that this album has, a, has going for it a lot is these build ups. And it's just really epic. It's really great to listen to. Part 3 is also unique. Uh, it's got some really uh, impressive riffing, I'd say. The riffs are definitely um, something that really do take the spotlight for me. Uh, of course, Part 4 and 5, also really good. Now, uh, Part 5, to me, kind of sounds like um, maybe something that uh, Ray would do himself in one of his solo uh, projects. Uh, because if you don't know, I did recently check out uh, Ray Alder's solo stuff, and I do like what I've heard so far, so part five does sound like it could be, um, maybe in one of his, uh, solo stuff. I mean, his solo stuff is not really much different from Fate's Warning Sound. It's basically just, you know, uh, Ray's solo stuff is just basically another Fate's Warning, at least I would say, just not as heavy, of course. But yeah, part five is really good. Now, part six, um, I've heard some people say that this is one of the best uh, parts on the album, which I can kind of agree with that. This is a more theatrical song that um, is just very uh, intriguing to listen to. I mean, if you like bands like Dream Theater, this song uh, might do something for you. It's very theatrical, very epic. I mean, the build-up, it's excellent. I mean, it's really great. And Ray, his vocals are outstanding in this song. And yeah, really good. Now, there's one part in particular I do want to talk about, and that is part nine, which is a more chill, kind of laid-back song. Um, and the lyrics, of course, are interesting, and yeah, I, I like this one. I mean, it's not one of my favorites, uh, not one of my favorite parts on, of this album, but it is very good, though, and it, it's a pretty chill song, kind of like a ballad in a way, but I like it. Now, of course, uh, I do want to skip right on over to the finale, part 12, which is an epic way to close off this album. I mean, they they really did an excellent job um, cl 
closing out this album. It has this larger than life uh, feeling to it, you know, with this uh, theatrical vibe and it just works really well. And I really like the way the song flows and how one thing leads to the next and it's just all around intriguing to listen to. I mean, I really like the way they closed off this album. It's definitely very, very good. So overall, if I were to give this album a score, I will have to give it probably a 9 out of 10. It is a great album. I do think it is one of their best. Um, now, to name gripes, I mean, I don't have that many gripes. Um, I think maybe it's debatable um, about, you know, maybe some parts of this album being maybe cut down a little bit. Uh, that is debatable, though. I'm not sure, but it deserves a 9 uh, for a score, in my opinion. So there you have it, A Pleasant Shade of Grey by Fate's Warning. I think it's a great album. Like I said, probably one of Fate's Warning's best. Definitely check out this album if you like progressive metal. I mean, if you like progressive metal, you're going to like this album. I, that I can promise you. This is a very progressive sounding album, and it is one of their more proggy albums too, which is something I can definitely appreciate. So definitely a great album. Check it out if you haven't already. So that's my review for Fate's Warning's album, A Pleasant Shade of Grey. Let me know what you think. Do you like this album? Feel free to let me know in the comments. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and take care.